The building we're in now, H Block, was first brought about in September 1944, so it's the oldest dedicated computer centre on the planet. The original computer um, museum started out in the room at the far end and expanded and took over the rest of the building so that you can see these snapshots through time and history of what makes computing so unusual. If you take any other technology in man's history, nothing has had the acceleration on us and our surroundings. There are other museums around the world that have different exhibits, but none that have one from each historical era. If you take the EDSAC, for instance, back in 1949 it was first turned on. Now we're having a replica built of the original EDSAC, and we also have the world's oldest machine, the witch. And then when you bring in the other end of the spectrum with the Raspberry Pis on the Fuse, for instance, you're dealing with both ends of the spectrum of computing from first generation through to what we currently have, which is cheap, small, easily accessible computers. The aims of the museum are to educate the public the history of computing. In the terms of education towards students, it's to give them an idea of where the technology came from. In order to understand where we're going, you have to know where we've been. You'll get that at one end of the museum, and then you'll get the more familiar technology at the other. It gives you a whole story, and it gives you a quick, encapsulated afternoon walking through history, because it goes from big machines to the room size to this.